There are two worlds, our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams.
They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind. My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end. Including mine. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Dad, I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there, or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Why won't you help me? She's all alone. I know that feeling.
You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. Oh, please. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Please save me. For fuck's sake, people, go away. Please, help me. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Save me! Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Ugh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... It's a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go... away! It will hear you and eat us both. She's she's already scared, but she needs to understand how she's scared. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream It is dangerous and it will hurt you unless we destroy it. I want to go home. And you will. But the way back is through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Oh, tent. If the wardrobe door opens and Kraken crawls out, Dream or no dream, I'm not sticking around for that. Nope. 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 If the wardrobe door opens and Kraken crawls out, dream or no dream, I'm not sticking around for that. Poor girl. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her?
too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Nope. 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 A mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. A mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Right. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? Pain. Anger. Sadness. No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. Torch. Flashlight. Beacon. It had to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Believe a mother would do this to her child. It's 
too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. I'm quickly running out of ideas. It's a torch. It projects a light beam. It's used to penetrate darkness, like a broadsword of light. Fighting. Darkness dragons. Oh, I give up. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Too quick, it hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick, it hides before I can destroy it. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness, through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Knock knock. Who's there? Cthul. Cthul who? <gasps> the horror! Yeah, you're going bonkers. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spurky by Ikea. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Too quick, it hides before I can destroy it. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light, yeah. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. <laughs> 